a preliminary introduction to Sighthound Disc Sport. SDS is made up of three categories, long distance, mini distance, and discoursing in freestyle. Competition 1, SDS Long Distance. In SDS Long Distance, teams attempt to connect on a reception where the dog completes a catch at the furthest possible distance downfield from the location of the throw. The dog cannot cross the start line until the disc leaves the thrower's hand. Any type of throwing disc that the thrower and judge have found safe and fitting will be permitted. Ring-style discs, such as the Aerobee, are permitted. Competition may be such that it may become difficult to win with a standard fastback dog disc. Each team gets two initial throws. Those teams which make at least one successful reception over a minimum distance will receive two additional throws. The longest throw of all successful receptions wins this competition. Any type of record-breaking reception should also be recorded and recognized. Teams are encouraged to realize the potential of sighthound speed, range, and eyesight. SDS Mini Distance SDS Mini Distance is similar to most dog disc mini distance competitions. The main difference is the fact that all catches completed during the allotted time are counted in scoring. In this way, the teams are rewarded for speed, both in pursuit of the disc and during retrieval not just the catching alone. Three zones are marked off. The first zone starts at 10 meters from the throw line. Each zone is 10 meters deep, so successive zones start at 20 and 30 meters. The third zone has no upper limit. Unlike long distance, the mini distance field is bound by sidelines. A throw that leaves the thrower's hand before time runs out is considered a legal throw. This means that a successful reception by the sighthound would count in scoring even though time has run out. The judges are to announce when 20 seconds remain and then count down from 10 seconds so that the teams are able to plan their final throw. Competition 3. SDS Discoursing in Freestyle The discoursing in freestyle field has an elongated and elliptical shape. The field surface can be grass, sand, or even beach sand. The thrower stands in the middle. To his or her left and right are the short poles, shown here in red. In front and behind, at a further distance, are the long poles, shown here in blue. The long poles are to be 70 to 150 meters apart, and the short poles are to be significantly closer in. These poles are used by the teams to give changes of direction to the trained sighthound, as pulleys produce in lure coursing. Discoursing in freestyle is a hybrid event made up of two aspects which are contained in the same event. One aspect, sighthound discoursing, is inspired by the established sighthound sport of lure coursing while the second aspect, sighthound disc freestyle, is similar to other dog disc freestyle events, made up of disc tricks, catches, fetches, vaults, etc. Teams are permitted to use any disc type or a combination of types, as well as props, tools, other objects, or even costumes. The performance can be set to music, but this is not a rigid requirement if a given team's performance relies on verbal communication over long distances. Optimally, the discoursing and freestyle performance should be a balance of sporting skill, team cooperation, artistic and or musical interpretation, timing, and especially shows of speed, agility, and coordination. The scoring system is designed to reflect this as much as possible.